I am the word, a generation given life and embody, landing on the soils of your heart like a comet. I am the word, that which gives solace, gem-studded crown from a rock unpolished. I am spoken into being like a prayer or a promise. I am the word. Listen. Please resist me. Colonize me. Compromise me. Conflict me. Please don't risk me. If you see me at the airport, please come and frisk me. Please resist me. Colonize me, compromise me and conflict me. Please don't risk me. Please call me stupid because your resistance brings out evolution. Sorry. You also taught me to speak French. I learned it when you kept keeping me at arm's length. And then I learned Italian just to expand my head and Greek to learn from where my ancestors had fled. And then I learned some Yanua just to show the people of this land some respect. You see, it's been your example that has led me to leave you for dead. So my name is Luca Lesson, born Lucas Haralambos. I didn't really enjoy poetry in high school at all wasn't really interesting to me, I didn't connect with it. And yet, I was listening to hip hop all the time. Guys like um, Biggie and Bone Thugs and Harmony and definitely Tupac and no teachers said to me, uh, actually within hip hop there is rhythm, there is rhyme, there is assonance and alliteration. So I just kept listening to hip hop. They kept trying to convince me of Shelley and Keats and we never spoke. I started studying anthropology and then I met a guy at uni who's a rapper who was part of the hip hop council at uni and we started making tracks and I did a couple of battles here and there. I didn't really feel like I clicked. You know, every now and then I would jump up and do a verse, but I never felt connected. And then eventually I found slam poetry, spoken word, and it's so raw. Yeah, I just fully fell in love with the, with the form. I'm risky. Insurmountable, unaccountable, I'm an undeniable, unreliable, maniacal liability. I fire soliloquies in my liturgies, literally leave a literary litany. You see, when I was little, they told me I was illegitimate, a little bit of limited. Little did they know that in a minute I'd be killing it. I'm vivid like a cinnamon, so my synonym is vividness. I stick it like I'm cinnamon and kill it like a militant. I live like a citizen, you live life like imprisonment. Besides indigenous immigrant, might be the most legitimate citizen, so it's better to live a life like us. <laughs> After like a decade of discovering all these love for words in different forms, I've come full cycle to go, oh, Shelley and Keats, awesome, Shakespeare, incredible. And I get it now, you know, but, but no one joined those links. In some ways, my bread and butter work in schools is just to come in and join those links. And if you think poetry is boring, the teachers are writing their names down right now. Then you know what slam poetry is? Yes. You rap poems. No. <laughs> so I think that automatically, if you help a young person connect with their heart and self-reflect about their lives, they are able to put themselves in the shoes of others and be less apathetic and self-reflect and understand themselves. And doors have opened up around the world. And I'm talking like schools from the Bronx to Soweto to private schools in Melbourne to juvenile detention facilities and anything else in between. In Greek, the word for poison is pharmaki, and the word for medicine is pharmako, like pharmacy, because inside the poison is where we find the antidote. And so the word antidote is really a good word for me to talk about what I think poetry can do for the world, to be an antidote for ignorance and, and open us up into maybe consciousness or growth. Our words are a massive part of how we grow and change and influence and also do damage, do lots of damage to ourselves and to others, but definitely heal and grow and connect and love and create and be powerful. And from there, I've been writing more personal stuff as well. You know, instead of always pointing the finger outwards, I started pointing the finger inwards. In some ways, I think that's our job to be a little more vulnerable than the audience. If you want to show us your support, subscribe to the Being Here YouTube channel. It actually makes a big difference for us. Thanks.